the recoil in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is broken. And by broken, I don't mean overpowered. I mean that it literally doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. In previous iterations of Call of Duty, each gun had a specific recoil pattern that it would produce every time you shot with it with a specific set of attachments. So the recoil pattern is a direction in which your gun kicks when you start shooting. So for example, the RPK right here goes up and to the right a bit and then just starts going up and to the left for the most part. That's where this conversation should end. But in this Call of Duty, every time you shoot your gun, you're going to get a slightly different recoil pattern than the previous time you shot your gun. For example, look at these four recoil patterns right here. I shot these with the RPK and I didn't touch any of my sticks. I just aimed and shot every time. And you can see their general trend is pretty much the same. So they go up and to the right and then up and to the left. But if we look at them in more detail, you can see that each one is basically completely different. The first two are kind of similar because they start going up and to the right and then up and to the left. But if you look at the other two right here, you can see that there's something completely different going on. The third one, it's similar at first, but when the first two start going up and to the left, then this one for some reason starts going up and to the right and then sharply goes to the left and then starts going up and to the left again. And the last one right here, this is the craziest one out of all of them because it goes straight up at first, not up and to the right. It goes straight up and then just moves horizontally to the right, then straight up vertically without moving side to side and then straight to the left. And then it starts going up and to the left. So that's a pretty big difference on the other three. These might not seem like big differences to you, but imagine if you're trying to shoot at an enemy from really far away, maybe like 100 or 200 meters in war zone, and you're trying to control your recoil in accordance with this first recoil pattern right here. So obviously you're going to pull down and to the left at first, and then you're going to start pulling down and to the right as the recoil starts moving up and to the left. Well, that's fine, but what if you get a recoil pattern closer to the last one right here? So you're pulling down and to the left, to combat this movement right here. But your recoil pattern just decides to move straight up and then straight to the right and then straight up again, like a staircase. Obviously, your recoil control is not going to work at all for that recoil right there. And you're going to miss many of your shots, especially if your enemy is somewhere far away and if they're behind cover, so you can only see a part of their body. Now, imagine if you're moving around to avoid shots as well and they're moving around to avoid shots as well while you're trying to control this inconsistent recoil you're going to hit much, much less of your shots than what you would normally hit in a previous Call of Duty or in the previous war zone. For example, if I try to control the recoil from far away, I'm starting out pulling down into the left and then down into the right. And if we move closer, you can clearly see that although it is much smaller than the actual recoil pattern, it still is pretty wide if you imagine that I'm shooting at an enemy which is 60 meters away from me and he's also moving. Obviously, you can still hit your shots, especially if people are standing still. But in long ranges, if you find that your shots are much worse than you expect them to be, this is why. It's because the recoil just has a mind of its own and does something different every time. So sometimes you're going to be beaming across the map because your recoil control is just right. But other times, you're just going to be hitting all around your enemy like you're a stormtrooper from Star Wars. And you're just going to be cracking everyone but not downing anyone. Okay, so we've established that the recoil is very, very inconsistent in Warzone 2. So what can we do to combat this? The best thing you can do is go straight into a private game and just start shooting at a wall with a gun without controlling your recoil. When you have your recoil patterns like this on a wall, you want to spot the most common occurrences or patterns that appear in most of them. So for example, for the RPK, most patterns go slightly up and maybe a bit to the right and then just start slowly going up and to the left. So in most cases, you're just going to be pulling down, maybe a bit to the left, and then you're just going to slowly be pulling down and to the right as the recoil pattern moves up and to the left. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of kinks and turns in between these longer patterns, but it's impossible to be ready for those ahead of time. So you're just going to have to combat them and react to your gun as you're shooting. Something else that you can do when you're shooting far away, instead of just shooting without stopping, you can just shoot for a bit, maybe crack the enemy that you're shooting at, and just for a split second, stop shooting and then start shooting again. This is going to reset your recoil. So you won't have to deal with all these twists and turns right here. You're just going to have to deal with the first part of the recoil, which is just up or up and to the right. Exactly as I'm doing right here. So you shoot for a bit and then reset. Shoot for a bit and then reset. Shoot for a bit and then reset. 
and this helps a lot when you're dealing with multiple enemies instead of switching from one enemy to the other without stopping your shooting if you do this then your recoil is going to be much more manageable when you're shooting at long ranges try this out and let me know if it works for you and let me know if you have any other tips on how to control your recoil in the inconsistent mess that is warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 thank you and peace